This is mutation number two zero five. Call it a comeback with Manx P three. There are existing runs with P zero and P two, but not P three. Um, I like using P three anyway, so I decided to go for it, and I got to the last wave many, many, many times. So I knew it was doable. I just needed some good luck, and luck was definitely on my side, as you'll see. At the end of this mutation, so we're gonna start off with our usual build. We're gonna drop um, bunker, kill the rocks, get the um, get the CC, and we're gonna build Sim City. So the uh, we're fighting Fleet of the Matriarch because Fleet of the Matriarch comes with only air later on, so I can use the rocket troopers, which deal tons of damage against air units and from a long distance. The early uh, in the early game, they come with zealots, and the zealots need to be funneled to this choke. So we're doing that right here. The attack wave is coming. I'll get a few fire bats and then some stronger troopers and an SCV to repair. Gonna get an eBay uh, siege up the witness, so we get some mandate, and gonna get the fusion core. I don't have to look at the fight because they're gonna eventually die. Um, gonna get the gas. Because I actually get Royal Guards this time, I'm going to be actually short on gas. Normally with P3, I have tons of gas later on, but um, not this time because I have to make Royal Guards. Uh, I usually don't because I don't, because usually troopers are enough, but this time, no. Um, so, enemy wave is coming. My second witness is actually going to be here. Um, where the army is building because I get to sit back and generate mandate while just waiting for the next wave. And then the third blimp will go to the natural. The, uh, the buildings for the two sides are placed in a way so that zealots will get funneled into a choke. If you completely block, they'll run around and like kill the units that aren't in bunkers. But if you funnel them, they'll body block each other as you can see here and then they'll get burned by the fire bats uh, it's good to have a few fire bats along with the rocket troopers because if they if the zealots come by I can use rocket uh, the flame troopers I mean flame troopers have 145 HP whereas the rocket troopers have much less so flame troopers are actually really key to this run they are a great meat shield double bunker drop for thrasher waves so i'm gonna kill the see i control clicked the rock uh, the rocket troopers to move out of the way and let them hit the flame troopers which didn't die and if i have extra flame troopers they're that's fine because they're gonna go into the bunkers and they're gonna be used to fight the hybrid later Th two to three flame troopers in each one and i need tons of scvs so you'll see me having like 10 plus idle scvs the barracks are for the Corsairs because the Corsairs will hit the temple and I don't want them to do that. And they will also hit my witness, which is helping me generate mandate. I don't want them to touch the witness. So you see there's a bunch just idle. Um, now we're going to float another barracks and then fill up the bunkers and we're going to fight the double wave. And I'm getting ghosts. So ghosts will be useful for their EMPs. EMPs will s deplete their shields, take out the hybrid dominator's energy, and stun the mechanical units. And here I'm using ESOs as part of the wall because uh, I'm not because um, that's um, they, they I need some extra buildings and I can use like ghost academies or for nukes, or um, I'm go or I can make ESOs. I'm going to make ESOs anyway, so I might as well. I might as well um, have them as part of the wall against zealots from the northeast. Here, generate mandate plus just uh, be around. EMP is available, so I basically use it whenever I can. And then um, here. I'm lifting the factory because I don't need it anymore. And you can see they're fighting the flame troopers. So the flame troopers have tons of HP. 
they can hit them forever. Flame Troopers don't have to actually deal damage. So here, I'm not going to drop bunkers yet because the attack wave is coming from the southeast. So I'm going to let them pass by and I need to wait till they get close enough because if I drop the bunkers too soon, the carriers will turn around and fight me. And I don't want to do that. So here I, uh, I'm going to kill these guys, shoot them down, and then I'm going to head to the north, repair the bunker. And I had flame troopers in each one, so just in case I'm late for the drop, I can still take care of that. Um, I'm going to drop another bunker so I can attack this thrasher. And I remember, I don't want it to deal damage to the temple. The temple needs to be as, as high HP as possible because I need to survive. It's They're just absolutely necessary. And I'm making tons of bunkers so that like everyone gets a home. Warning. Factory is no is not needed. I, at this point, um, there won't there will be very few like zealots coming from the southwest, or actually from the other three sides. Only the northeast. There will be some zealots from the southeast later, but that's later. Here, this blimp is just so that when I'm like fighting at the top, I get some mandate for the dudes that are just walking around. I have about 6 ESOs, that's all I need. I don't need the ESOs for damage, I need the ESOs for contaminated strike. And you see I'm making tons of flame troopers, the rocket troopers enter the bunkers, and here I have a timing, 28. So if I hit at 28 at the first thrasher, the carriers don't come with me, uh, don't come with them. And you can see I think the scouts were hit too. So I get to fight just the hybrid and EMP the dominators use a release the zerg the the zerg call down to kill them and then we kind of chill i want to get these guys out of the bunkers to generate more mandate and i'm just going to hang around so um this is this seems like a double wave but i realized like it's actually like you fight the top right bef and you pretty much fight the top right before the top left starts moving um for this one, if I gas at 45, I thought I would hit them, but I don't think I did this time. They kind of stayed back. So sometimes they get hit, sometimes they don't. So I'm not sure, but yeah, I don't think they got hit, but it's not a big deal. I got my mandate back. Um, I, I, I need to get rid of this Thrasher because it deals tons of damage, and I'm not actually looking at the fight. <laughs> So now I, ha I need two bunkers because one bunker doesn't do enough damage and the thrasher will actually kill it. Now I can salvage all the bunkers in the top, um, the top right and then prepare for battle down here. ESOs are still necessary. Uh, I'm going to gas here 42 right in front of the southeast thrasher. We'll take care of that wave. And you can see here, it's supposed to be a double wave, but only the top left is coming because I got rid of the bottom right wave. 42, 22, 42. And then I'm going to move my flying building so that the Corsairs hit them instead. EMP so that they get stunned. Next one, 23, 45 in the top left, right in front of the Thrasher. That way the carriers will be out of commission. I think I missed... I think I did that right because you can see top left, it's just um, it's just the hybrid. And I'm going to use a Zerg call down here. Um, the Corsairs are just like getting free hit shots and I don't like that. So I'm going to target fire them. And the EMP, EMP the Dominator. And then the next one, I missed the timing. It was supposed to be 2455 at the... Um, extra thrasher spot so I missed it and now the the strong wave from the southwest is coming I'm just trying to survive 15 seconds left and I'm just like dropping whatever I can lifting my buildings so any Corsairs will hit them instead and just like so close I lifted my command center they even they took my command center and turned into an orbital but that's fine you know as long as the temple stayed alive.